Hey guys, it's Ava. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, most of you think I'm dead currently, but um, I'm not. I'm here right now. Just because somebody doesn't post a vlog for like three weeks doesn't mean that they're dead. It means they maybe were preoccupied with their life. I've actually been reading your comments and there was this one about these rabid pack of Dobermans that like ate me to death or something. It was actually pretty sick. I'm pretty impressed with whoever came up with that entire story. Magical. Actually, I've been in the loony bin for the past three weeks and this time I wasn't forced into the mental hospital. Um, I actually chose to go there because my mom was being crazy and everything was just really really fake and I just wanted something that was real. You know, even though I was surrounded by like the most dysfunctional crazy people, um, you know, at least there was something real about them. It's just kind of hard living with her. So I'm here. This is Uncle Peter's house and this is also where the three brats reside. So um, yeah, I mean Abigail's not that bad but I'm pretty sure Esther wants to kill me. And I kind of wish the Dobermans would beat her to it. I really just don't want to deal with it right now. It's kind of terrifying. I wasn't even supposed to be here for like another month, and I'm here now. And I'm just really super excited to see Esther's wrath. So, here we go. Dr. Jacobs, this doesn't really have anything to do with my therapy, but it's kind of interesting, so I thought you might appreciate it. We've been trying to figure out why Zephyr's still stuck here, even though the business with the former sweetheart turned middle-aged dominatrix has been resolved. The name's Mary Rose, and it's not cool to judge people, even though that was kind of weird. Whatever, dude. You should just be more grateful that we're trying to get you home, or wherever it is that ghosts belong. Ugh, I can't think with you guys arguing like a married couple. Esther, that is revolting. Such your face. Is it done yet? I think I'm close. Dad code's like a 12 year old, so I've been trying to figure out the spookometer hardware controller scripts to inverse the input sequence and use it to project Zephyr into the ectosphere where hopefully he can find his way to the other side. I have no idea what any of that meant. Yeah, I kind of have a bogus feeling about this. Yahtzee! This is not the time to be playing online games. No, I mean I got it. This code is like a fluffy kitten purring in my lap. Okay, so what now? Say your goodbyes or whatever. Zephyr is going bye bye. Later, dude. Later. Initializing astral projection sequence. No! Oh, what the hell is happening? It's working, I think. I still can't get out. Oh, Esther, what is that? Uh, oops. Oh, uh, you guys, it looks like we have company. Sorry, this is a bad time. I can totally come back later. Ava? Ava! I mean, hi, cousin! I can, I can totally, like, I can come back what later. What are you doing here? Um, well, I'm actually moving in early. I mean, things were weird with my mom. Your dad said it was okay. Is it cool with you guys? Y yeah, I mean, I guess. The, 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 the guest room's just like it was last summer. Wait! I have something for you! You two, catch up! I'll be right back. Hey. Are you making a video? Oh. Yeah, I guess. You're you're vlogging. No, no, no. I'm making a video for my psychiatrist. He's helping me get over my anxiety. And I thought you said vlogging was a waste of time and totally stupid. I'm not vlogging, and I never said that vlogging was a waste of time or stupid. Yeah, you made fun of me for it forever. I just didn't like all those jerks leaving you mean comments, that's all. Where's Abigail? She's at work. She should be done at like 10. Ava! I know things got weird between us last summer. How did you make that so fast? Like when you made out with my boyfriend. When you were staying in our house. As our guest. Esther, he wasn't even actually your boyfriend. Esther, you know, I was trying to tell you that he was really shady and you just weren't listening to me, so I had to do something. I mean, I shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. And I'm really sorry, but he was really a bad guy. I just wanted to let you know that that's all behind us and that I'm really happy that you're moving in with us. Wait, really? No! Esther! Welcome to 
to the Gories. Oh my. Please pardon my intrusion. I oh don't have the opportunity to properly meet. My name is Courtney Von Tempest. I recognize you as Tori and Esther. I'm afraid I don't know your guest. Hi, I'm their cousin Ava. Nice to meet you, Ava. Pleasure to meet you. I'm here because I'm concerned about Abigail. <sighs> yeah, she's working at Dark Roast right now. Precisely, or more rather, she should be. I've been, well, not stalking her, but I've been going to the same place every Thursday just so I can catch a glimpse of her beauteous face. So she's not there? No, and she has not been answering my calls either. Okay, hold on. Hey, it's Tori. Um, kind of wondering where you are, so if you could just like call me right away, like right now, if you could call me and let me know where you are, that would be great. Kind of worried about you, okay? And I love you, and where are you? Okay, okay, bye. I take it none of you know where she is. Then I must go. I'm sorry. I promise I'll find her. He's hot. So I've been trying to figure out this Bugometer hardware controller strips to inverse in the input sequence and put the, uh, to, and use it to project sever. Let me do that again! Half decaf, stevia sweetened cinema, cinnamon, <laughs> caramel macchiato, <laughs> uncaffeinated. <laughs> Why is this messing with my brain? But I've been going. Did you see that? No. Hit the lock.